Hello everybody, this is Talon with another Nutrition Tier List, a series where I break down all the options in a given food group and rank them based on how nutritious they are and how good they are for your health. Today we've got mushrooms. Well, technically fungi because not everything on here is classified as a mushroom. Now, some mushrooms are said to have magical qualities. In fact, some mushrooms are so special that they only need to be eaten once and they'll feed a man until the end of his life. We're not going to be covering those today. No, everything we're talking about in this video should be safe to eat. In fact, you could probably find them in many stores or sold online from people who know they won't kill you with minimal effort. It should go without saying that you probably shouldn't forage for mushrooms on your own without intimate knowledge of what you're doing. Anyway, nutrition, because that's what we're here for. Mushrooms and fungi are naturally pretty low in calories, with the majority of them coming from protein, carbohydrates, and fibers. They are consistently a good source of certain micronutrients like vitamin B2, vitamin B3, biotin, copper, iron, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, and when given ample sunlight, vitamin D. Regrettably, I will not be covering every edible mushroom and fungi today. The reason for the majority of them being a lack of information, both numerical nutrition info and a lack of sufficient studies. Some of the more highly requested ones from you guys were reishi mushrooms, turkey tail mushrooms, puffball mushrooms, cordyceps, and chicken of the woods. I didn't feel confident enough talking about these myself, but I did leave some of the more accessible and well put together articles I found on them in the description if you're interested. But back to the ones that I am covering, let's get to ranking them. Looking at the tiers for this video, we're going to be comparing the nutrient content and benefits of each fungus against any shortcomings or health concerns that they may have. Keep in mind that these lists are ranked independent of each other, so an A-tier fungus may not equate to an A-tier meat or an A-tier fruit. All numerical nutritional information on this list and across this series is based on 100 grams of the individual food for the sake of consistency and ease of comparison. And now it's time for me to show that there's so much room for mushrooms in your diet. Let's get to the list. Beech mushrooms are an average caloried mushroom with a lesser micronutrient profile. They're a solid source of vitamin B3 and biotin and a decent source of vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. Beech mushrooms are rich in flavonoids and phenyl antioxidants, contributing anti-inflammatory and notable anti-cancer benefits, and they're shown to be valuable for overall gut health. There's not quite as much to say about beech mushrooms as others, but if you find the taste and texture appealing, they're a worthy inclusion. I'm going to put them in the B tier. Chanterelle mushrooms are a lower caloried mushroom with an impressive micronutrient profile. They're among the most fibrous options on this list, and they're among the best sources of iron and copper, and again, vitamin D when given ample sunlight. Some of its more prominent micronutrients like copper and vitamin D combat bacterial infections and illnesses. Chanterelle mushrooms contain certain flavonoids like myrosetin and catechin and polyphenol antioxidants that are shown to help decrease markers of inflammation. They also contain polysaccharides like chitin and chitosin, which are linked to better immune health and anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer benefits. As a whole, one of the more nutritious options, I'm going to put chanterelle mushrooms in the A tier. Dried cloud ear is a higher caloried mushroom with a solid micronutrient profile. Cloud ear is most commonly available dried in stores, and when dried, it's a great source of fiber, manganese, selenium, iron, and vitamin B2. It contains powerful polyphenol antioxidants shown to combat cancer and heart disease. It also has a prebiotic effect, benefiting gut health, and it's shown to protect against liver damage. Cloud ear, however, is noticeably lower in protein and some relevant micronutrients per calorie. It's also advised to soak and cook cloud ear before use. Overall, a unique mushroom with its own merits, I'm going to put cloud ear in the B tier. Cremini mushrooms are lower caloried mushrooms with a great micronutrient profile. These are a phase of Agaragus bisporus, the same as Portobello and white button mushrooms, but this is the middle maturity between the two. They are thus one of the most popular and most studied mushrooms out there. Cremini mushrooms in particular are the best source on this list of vitamin B2, which mainly functions in the metabolism of macronutrients, and they're among the best sources of copper, biotin, and selenium. They contain certain bacteria shown to benefit gut health and antioxidants including glutathione, polyphenols, and polysaccharides. Cremini mushrooms have anti-cancer benefits due to their inhibition of an enzyme called aromatase, particularly for preventing breast and lung cancers. And lastly, they're shown to lower blood pressure in those with high blood pressure. Now, cooking slash heating of these mushrooms is recommended to help rid of a compound called a garotene, which is believed to be carcinogenic. Overall, cremini mushrooms are one of the more impressive as well as one of the most accessible mushrooms out there, and I'm going to put it in the A tier. 
Enoki mushrooms are an average caloried mushroom with an average micronutrient profile. It's the best source on this list of vitamin B3, which is used mainly in turning food into energy, but it's also used to maintain your digestive and nervous systems. Enoki mushrooms contain a variety of antioxidants, including quercetin and caffeic, chlorogenic, elagic, ferulic, and gallic acids. These are, as a whole, shown to boost immune health and have anti-inflammatory effects. Enoki mushrooms are also shown to be an effective anti-cancer, with studies showing it to help prevent stomach cancer. They're also shown to lower LDL cholesterol and enhance brain function and memory. Overall, a solid pick that I'm going to put in the A tier. King oyster mushrooms are an average caloried mushroom with a slightly lesser micronutrient profile. They're a good source of vitamin B3 and biotin, and have some notable anti-inflammatory properties combating such things as arthritis and chronic muscular pains thanks to antioxidants such as ergothionine. Due to a medicinal compound called lovastatin, they're shown to lower LDL cholesterol, and when compared to other types of mushrooms, king oysters were shown to be very effective at suppressing growth of breast and colon cancer cells. A very unique mushroom, I'm going to put king oyster in the B tier. Lion's mane is an average caloried mushroom with a solid micronutrient profile. Per gram, it's the most fibrous fungus on this list, and it's a very good source of biotin. Lion's mane contains hericinones and arinocines, compounds that stimulate health of brain cells. Alongside this, lion's mane is also shown to combat degenerative brain diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. These brain-related benefits also go one step further, helping to relieve anxiety and depression. Lion's mane is shown to help speed up recovery from nervous system damage and prevent digestive ulcers. It's shown to reduce the risk of heart disease and several cancer cancers and help prevent high blood sugar. It's also shown to reduce chronic inflammation and it increases the activity of the intestinal immune system, especially benefiting gut bacteria. Lion's mane is one of the most researched mushrooms, thus more proven and associated health benefits are backed. So I can feel more confident putting it in a higher tier, and in this case it's going in the top tier. Maitake mushrooms, also known as hen of the woods, are an average caloried mushroom with an impressive micronutrient profile. It's the best source on this list of biotin, a B vitamin needed for its uses for metabolism. It's also a good source of vitamin B3 and copper. Maitake mushrooms are shown to contribute several health benefits, including lowering of LDL cholesterol levels, combating of breast cancer and type 2 diabetes, treating high blood pressure and cold and flu symptoms, and they're shown to boost production of certain immune proteins. Maitake mushrooms are generally one of the more nutritious and beneficial options, and I'm going to put them in the A tier. Morel mushrooms are a lower caloried mushroom with the best micro content on this list per calorie. They're the best source on this list of several micronutrients, most notably iron, which the body needs for its growth and development, and also crucially in the creation of hemoglobin and myoglobin, proteins in red blood cells that carry oxygen throughout the body and to the muscles respectively, but also copper, which makes red blood cells and maintains your nervous and immune systems, phosphorus, which mainly functions in the formation of bones and teeth, manganese, which forms bones, connective tissue, issues in certain hormones, and zinc, which has a number of functions including DNA creation and immune health. It's also a solid source of vitamin D. Morel mushrooms also contain an impressive array of antioxidants, benefiting heart and brain health and combating diabetes. Overall, morels are as nutritious as mushrooms get, and given that this is a nutrition tier list, I feel I have no choice but to put it in the top tier. Oyster mushrooms are an average caloried mushroom with a lower micronutrient profile. It's a solid source of vitamin B3 and biotin. It contains a variety of antioxidants, notably phenolic compounds including gallic acid, chlorogenic acid, and naringenin, and the amino acid ergothionine. These are, as a whole, shown to combat inflammation and reduce liver damage. Oyster mushrooms are high in beta-glucan, which gut bacteria uses to make short-chain fatty acids that benefit heart health. Their consumption is shown to help regulate blood sugar levels and boast antiviral and antibacterial benefits. Overall, oyster mushrooms are a worthy inclusion to a healthy diet that I'm going to put in the B tier. Portobello mushrooms are a lower caloried mushroom with a solid micronutrient profile. These are mature agaricus bisporus mushrooms, the final stage of the popular white button mushrooms and the aforementioned cremini mushrooms. Portobellas are among the best sources of vitamin B2 and selenium. They contain a variety of antioxidants including polyphenols, polysaccharides, ergothionine, and glutathione, which prevent oxidative damage, chronic inflammation, and many cancers while benefiting heart health. They contain beta-glucan, which lowers LDL cholesterol, and portobellas are shown to lower blood sugar levels and improve gut health. Now, like its younger counterparts, cooking is recommended due to agaritine, a potential carcinogen. But overall, portobello mushrooms are the standard for mushrooms, and I'm going to put them in the A tier.
Shiitake mushrooms are an average caloried mushroom with a humble micronutrient profile. It's among the most fibrous options on this list and contains polysaccharides that lower inflammation levels, benefiting immune health. These polysaccharides are shown to inhibit the spread of leukemia cells. Shiitake mushrooms boost heart health due to erotidinine, beta-glucan, and sterols lowering LDL, and they have antibacterial and antiviral effects. Shiitake mushrooms are often heralded as one of the healthiest out there, but on this list I'm going to put them in the A tier. White button mushrooms are a lower caloried mushroom with a solid micronutrient profile. These are the youngest form of Agaragus bismorus mushroom you'll encounter. They're the best source on this list of selenium, which combats against cell damage and infections and helps make DNA, and it's a good source of copper and vitamin B2. White mushrooms contain a variety of antioxidants including polyphenols and polysaccharides. These are shown to benefit heart health and combat chronic inflammation in certain cancers. White mushrooms are also shown to lower LDL cholesterol and blood sugar levels and improve overall gut health. Similar to its more mature counterparts, it's recommended to cook your white mushrooms before consumption to rid of a garotene, a potential carcinogen. At the end of the day, these are a popular and nutritious pick that I'm going to put in the A tier. Raw wood ear is a low-calorie mushroom with a respectable micronutrient profile. It's a great source of copper and vitamin B5, and it's very antioxidant-rich, aiding with the prevention of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. Wood ear also contains polysaccharides that boost immune function, and beta-glucan, which promotes beneficial gut bacteria. Now, wood ear is typically lower in protein than most mushrooms, and it is advised to be cooked to rid of harmful bacteria. Overall, wood ear is a distinctive mushroom that I'm going to put in the B tier. And last on this list, dried nutritional yeast is a high calorie fungus with a straight-up stupid micronutrient content. Now, keep in mind that the recommended serving size for nutritional yeast is 10 grams or less, so these numbers will appear very inflated. Yeast is often one of the better sources for plant-based diets of vitamin B12, a nutrient essential for the formation of red blood cells and DNA. Even in the suggested amount, it's still a good source of vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, and folate. Nutritional yeast is fairly protein dense per calorie when compared to other fungi, and it contains a few familiar beneficial compounds, notably glutathione, an antioxidant that helps rid of heavy metals in the body and reduces the risk of chronic diseases, and beta-glucan, which has antibacterial, antifungal, and cholesterol-lowering effects. In the end, I feel I have no choice but to put this nutritional powerhouse in the top tier. Now, you may have noticed that I restricted this list to only three tiers, and the reason for that is, from what I found, the majority of edible mushrooms all exist in the same plane of goodness to greatness. Here we have a food group that consistently excels in providing essential, often tougher to find nutrients at a fraction of the calories of other sources. They are trivially easy to consume, pretty much regardless of your diet, and they come with minimal health and safety risks, with but a few notable exceptions. That is, when they're not straight up poisoning you. So I guess this is a classic case of what does doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The point is, I can totally see why y'all have been pushing for this one for so long. Now, if you enjoyed the video, or at the very least learned a little something, I encourage you to subscribe as I've got plenty more of these on the way. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what food group you think I should rank next, and remember that all I ask is that you do your own research and advocate for your body. You only get the one.